Welcome back to the UGA Bulldogs Dynasty here on College Hoops 2K8 as we begin conference play with one of the top-ranked teams in the nation, the Auburn Tigers. We are live here in Auburn, Alabama, and we have a tough task ahead of us. Both Walker Kessler and Jabari Smith Jr. have returned back to school, so we are going to have our hands full. The top matchup to look at is Jabari Smith Jr. and Tim Pace, and we're getting ready to take a look at the starting lineups, and as you guys can see here, we have made some changes. A lot of you guys have said maybe I should change the lineup a little up a little bit, and I was already thinking that myself, so we moved Gomer Church to the, to the one, we moved Butts to the two. We brought in Jabri Abdul Rahim to start at the three. Tim Pace and Sam Gay are still going to be holding it down in the backcourt, protecting the paint. Now, Oquindo is going to be our sixth man. Edder moves up against a few more minutes. And with Christian Wright being hurt, we're going to lower his minutes just a bit until he's able to come back healthy and really commit and contribute to the team. All right, boys, tipping off here in Auburn. Let's take a look at what this new starting lineup can do. There was only one change, but I feel like it's a big change. Gomer's going to be playing on the ball instead of off the ball. We go down to Sam Gate early. Fadeaway jumper, no good. Auburn comes down on their possession and knocked down a three. KD Johnson from way downtown. Down 5 nothing. We beat the press here. They went for the steal. We knocked down a trade for Gomer Church. Gomer Church had a big day, and he then he throws a lob to Sam Gay. We've been trying to get that playoff all season long, and what a time to finally get it going. Five all here. Gomer Church trying to work his way to the basket. He's going to find Jabri Abdul Rahim wide open on the elbow. He's going to knock down a tray. We got a pass over to the corner. Jabri once again. That one is off. Auburn is going to run the break. We're back on D trying to get a stop. They make a pass. They pull it out. KD Johnson, we give him too much space, and he knocks down a tray once again. Now here we are, 15 13. Tyson Butts going to the basket. Pick and roll with Tim Pace, but they're going to call a foul. They called it on the ground as well. So off of the inbounds, Butts here working, looking. Christian Wright is checked into the game. We kick it over to Gomer Church. He's going to let that go way downtown. Bang. And here it is, 22-18. Gomer with the pump fake this time for a three. He's going to knock down a mid-range jumper. You can see he's feeling it. And that's going to take us into the locker room, 24 all Pretty low-scoring game, pretty low-scoring affair, but the guys, you know what I mean, both teams are looking good. We're shooting 40% to their 50. We're shooting 50% from three. Four for six from the free throw line. We're being out-rebounded, and we only have four turnovers here. The player of the half is going to be KD Johnson, who leads all scorers with 13. Church has eight for us. Butts has six. And we're just trying to find a way to stop KD Johnson in this Auburn offense. If we don't stop them, it's going to be a long night for us because that's going to cause for us to have to keep up with them and score at a high clip, which we usually do well, but we've never had to face a score like this so far this season. Now, our bigs in this game struggled tremendously. They couldn't get rebounds. They couldn't score points as you see Walker Kessler finishing down low there. But Gomer Powell was the star of the day as he hits the step back three. And once again, Jabari Smith getting to the rack, dunking on Jabri Abdul Rahim. Sam Gay misses shots after shot after shot. And then when we weren't missing shots, boys, we were turning the ball over. As you see, we hit Jabri wide open. He can't make that shot. We can't get the offensive rebounds we normally get. Tim Pace gets the steal. He misses another layup, boys. It was a rough day at the office. You see Tim Pace trying to feed down low. Auburn gets a steal, and Green Jr. is off to the races, and he's going to finish the layup over two defenders. And that's going to cause for us to call for a timeout, boys, as we're down 12, but we are not going to lay down and die as Tim Pace gets the steal. He finds Gomer Church wide open way downtown. That one's going to get a friendly bounce on the rim. Now it's 41-32, down single digits. Nice pick and roll. Tim Pace gets the dunk inside. You know he's going to finish it. We're going to keep going to the well. Not a clean catch there by Tim Pace, but he is able to go up and get a layup. But they're coming back down. Our bigs continue to struggle against this Auburn defense and offense, man, as Walker Kessler gets a tip in there. KD Johnson wide open for an elbow jumper once again. We are down nine, and that's going to do it as we lose this game 56-48. We did fight all the way, but in the end, they were just too much. Walker Kessler with a 10-point double-double and four assists is going to be your player of the game as we drop our SEC opener. Now picking up in our next game, Tim Pace stretches the floor. He told Coach before this game that he was capable of shooting threes. Coach says show me, and he does right there as we are at home versus Kentucky. Tim, Tyson Butts taking a three. Don't know why, but Sam Gay's going to go ahead and clean up. Sam Gay coming down on the next possession, knocking down a tray. He's feeling it. He needs to bounce back after the game he had against Auburn. He was completely outmatched as he spins baseline there. Should have dunked it, but he ends up laying it in. Ty Ty Washington is going to find his big. That one is off. We're going to run the break. Gomer Church surveying, pushing. He's going to find Tyson Butts, and he's going to yam it home. And, boys, we are up, but Kentucky is not laying down to die. Tim Pace to the basket, and one. 
to, we felt contact, and he still is able to go ahead and knock it down, and we do get three the hard way at the line. Up six here in the first half. Uh, Jabri Abdul-Rahim with the spin move. He's going to throw the skip pass to Tim Pace. He's going to knock that down. Bang! Tim Pace is shooting amazing from the field here today. Now we're up nine. Tim Pace working down in the post. He's got a little guy on him. Kicks it back out to Christian Wright. We're going to feed the big once again. Hook with the left. That's going to hit every part of the rim, but it is still going to go. Now 22-11, Gomer Church with a step back. This is that off to Sam Gate off of the pick and roll. He slams that home. We go right back to Sam Gate in the post, and that's going to take us into the locker room with an 11-point lead here at home versus the Kentucky Wildcats, who are also a number 25 team in the nation currently. Take a look, man. We held them to just 27% shooting from the field. We're not shooting that great from three, but we're shooting 41% total. Perfect out of the line. We're out-rebounding them as well. Tim Pace has 13 and a half. Sam Gay has 11 and 6. Butts has 2. Not much scoring going on after that, boys. So we are going to need more scoring as Tim Pace is going to be your player and a half here in this one. Picking up in the second half, boys, we got a 10-point lead. Gomer Church calling the play. He's going to go with the pick and roll with Sam Gay. He's going to set it up. He gets the look he wants. He dumps it off to Sam Gay. Sam Gay with another dunk down low. Here we are up nine. We're going to beat the press with Gomer Church. He's going to go all the way to the paint, coast to coast, finishing that with the left. Jabri Abdul-Rahim playing great defense on the press. He's going to lay that up easily. Here we are up 11. Gomer Church working his way down the basket. Tyson Buss lets one go again with just a 56-3 ball, and that one is nothing but net. And we're also going to run the break here with Tyson Buss. And Tyson Buss is going to throw it down as we extend this lead to 16 on the very next inbounds. Beautiful defense on the press. Sam Gay gets the layup. Now we're hitting Sam Gay in transition. He's going to knock down a trade ball from the corner, and we get a big time win here at home as we beat the Kentucky Wildcats by 11. I'm very impressed with how our guys play. Sam Gay bounced back from the last abysmal game he had. 21 points, 10 for 16 shooting, 1 for 2 from the free throw line. Just shy of a double-double, but he did also hit 5 blocks. And here we're going to lose this game to Mississippi State. Um, not really sure what happened, man, but we, we lost in the second half. Take a look at our guys. Church had a good amount of points. Tyson Butt showed off. Uh, Jabri played well, but Sam Gay was non-existent once again. And we're getting ready to play the number six team in the nation in the Alabama Crimson Tide. Tyson Butts has a tall task. He's going to have to take on 92 overall senior guard Jaden Shackelford, man. And here on the opening tip, Alabama's going to let us know they're not here to play. J.D. Davidson, who stayed in school, is going to knock down the tray to start off the game. Now 3-0. We get it still. Tim Pace is running the break. He's going to throw that down. 3-2 your ball game here early on in the first half. Sam Gay trying to go with a little jump hook there, unable to get it to go. Tim Pace playing great D. Sam Gay this time is going to slam it home. That's how we need him to play all day long as Alabama's big man, Bidi Ako, I think that's how you say his name, gets his own board. And now a little dump off pass here from Shackelford as uh, I believe that was Holt or, or Jock Quinterly who went ahead and, and made that happen. J.D. Davidson with a steal. We're going to steal it right back off the press. We're going to pass it to Tyson Butts. He's going to lay that up with the left hand. This game is back and forth early, man. J.D. Davidson is going to stop and pop, take the midi. That's going to go. Christian Wright, who is still injured, checked in in the game, man, running the offense. He's going to find some pace in transition. We're going to get a dunk there. We get a pump fake. We get a man up in the air. We get the switch we want. Sam Gay spins baseline. His favorite move is going to go ahead and dunk that and off the inbounds. Christian Wright calling for the pick and roll with Jabri Abdul-Rahim. He has the shot, but he's going to get it down to his big man, and that's going to be an and one. Jabri heads to the line. Unable to get three the hard way, but we will get the board. But Reginald is blocked there. And pushing a break is Alabama. They're going to toss it up to Jock Cornerly. He's going to get a dunk off. Now dumping it down to uh, our guy Reginald. He's going to go ahead and make something happen there. Jabri Abdul-Rahim getting to the basket. Basket. Not liking what he sees. He's going to toss it out to Tyson Buss. We're going to reset here. He throws a skip to Okindo. Bad shot. Late in the shot clock will we get it to go. 23-19 is your score. We are jumping all over the place, and we're going to give up another trade ball to Alabama. 23-21, and they're going to throw an entry pass there late in the first half. Tim Pace on the board. He's going to find Christian Wright, who finds Oquindo. Oquindo pushing, trying to get to the basket. He's going to throw the skip pass to Gomer Church, and you already know, way downtown. Bang. Don't leave that man open. He's going to knock it down. And we get caught sleeping on defense ourselves, and they're going to knock down another tray. We got a three-point lead here late in the first half. Another deep three from Church. He's really starting to extend that range. And here we are with 35 seconds in the first half. Have. We give up an easy layup. We're going to go ahead and push. We get the shot we want with five seconds left on the clock, but Gay is unable to knock it down, and that's going to send us into the locker room with a four-point lead, 30-26 to 26 here at home in Athens, boys. We got a packed house. Didn't really expect to see that here today, but let's take a look at these halftime numbers, man. We are shooting well from the field, 50%, Bama 47%. Both teams aren't shooting that great from three. We're shooting 
De- oh, pretty trash at the free throw line. We have 12 turnovers in the first half. Got to clean that up. Take a look at Gomer Church. He's leading us. All of our scores with eight points. Gabe with five. Pace with four. And your player to half is going to be Gomer Church. Starting off the second half, man, our first possession, we're going to go ahead and throw a turnover. Here we are getting back on D. Shackleford throws a dime. Roy gets to the basket. He's going to lay that up. Here we are up 32-28 off the screen. We get the step back. We got a man on the ground unable to advance. We're going to go down low to Sam Gay. He gets a soft touch. He gets that one to go. Still with a four-point lead. We're going back down low to Tim Pace. He's unable to get that to go. He gets his own board. He's going to kick it back out to Jabri Abdul-Rahim. Bang. Yes, sir. 37-30 here in the second half. Now 37-32. Sam Gay gets his man in the air. He's going to drive to the basket. He gets a dunk off. And here's Gomer Church playing the passing lanes, pushing, pushing, getting to the rack. He's going to throw that one down. And here we are in transition looking for Tim Pace. He's going to try to throw it down, but he's fouled. We're going to go to the line. He knocks down the first free throw, and he knocks down the second free throw. And we have our – well, he misses the second, excuse me. But we still have a double-digit lead. Gomer Church off of the screen. Pump fake, gets wide open, knocks that down. We got a 12-point lead. Pick and roll, Tim Pace catching a body, throwing that one down. Up 14. But his Alabama team is not – going to lay down. They're not going to go down without a fight as Holt is able to knock down that three. Then off of the inbounds, J.D. Davidson locks up Gomer Church and he gets his steal and hits the mini in his face. I said, oh, oh Carl, you got to get him back. You better go down there and get him back. Now here's Gomer Church driving, looking. He's kicking the Jabri. So then I came down. <laughs> Jabri way downtown. Bang! He gets that one to go. Back to the 12-point lead. Bidiaco working down low. J.D. Davis is going to go ahead and miss that midi. We're on the boards. We're running the break. We like to run in space. Jabri catches the catches the outlet, lays it up with the left hand. J.D. Davis way downtown. He gets that one to go. We are only up eight. Alabama gets his game within eight. We're pushing the ball up court. Gomer Church is getting locked up again, but he got the ball to his big, got some space, and now he's going to do his thing here on the pick and roll, looking for Tim Pace. We find him, and that's going to be an easy lay. We're going to put the nail in the coffin with his step back three from Gomer Church. Bang! That puts us up 13. And with an emphatic slam to really send it home, we get a 14-point victory versus the number 16 in the nation. Gomer Church gets the player of the game, 17 points, three for five from three, five assists, four steals. The kid was all over the place. He played a very good and efficient game, team stats. We shot 50% from the field, 50% from three. Under 50% from the free throw line, but we're still able to get a win. We out-rebounded them. We had 13 steals. We had a lot of bench points, which I'm happy about. Going over the whole total stats, Jabri, Tim Pace, and Sam Gay were all in double digits, and it's looking like we might be a force in the SEC after all. Hey. <laughs> niggas want me to lose, but I can't. I've been stacking this shit to the ceiling. Know some niggas with bodies, and it ain't no properly. We never speak on them killers. Everybody on my block go get them some money. It's only a couple of drillers. I've been fucking them hoes, man. Them bitches ain't nobody. Boy, get the fuck out your feelings. Drop my son off to school in the morning. After that, I headed straight to the bank.